Hello everyone, my name is Megid Gerges. I am an assistant professor of design and structural technology at, and the McCarthy Hospital McCarthy Endowed Professor at the College of Architecture and Design at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. I'm also the director of Soft Boundaries. Uh, Soft Boundaries is a multidisciplinary research lab investigating the intersections of architecture, engineering, and sciences such as biology, biochemistry, uh, differential geometry, mathematics, and robotics. Our current research focuses on the development of high-performance integrated construction systems using digital fabrication, uh, novel materials, and advanced computational design methods. In this framework, our research uh, investigates the possibilities of additively manufactured architecture and its potential impact on the future of design practices. I am very excited to present our uh, latest research on uh, biomimetic generative morphologies for 3D printing, um, the recent development of computational form finding and additive manufacturing uh, has broadened the opportunities for extensive exploration into the design of highly efficient structural systems. This research investigates the potential in which uh, topology optimization and additive manufacturing can be used to extend the boundaries of the design of high performance construction systems. The main objective of this research is developing computational design to digital fabrication workflow uh, for the construction of robotically controlled 3D printed building assemblies. Uh, current conventional construction methods contribute to a significant amount of uh, total waste in the US and around the world, and uh, which has a major uh, negative financial and environmental impact uh, on the economy. Uh, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, APA, Conventional construction methods generated up to uh, 547,000 tons of waste in the United States in 2015, with 61% from non-residential and 39% from residential construction. Therefore, uh, there is a global demand to investigate entirely uh, new design approaches and construction processes. The majority of conventional uh, construction methods are considered subtractive since they are required removal of material through trimming, milling, and drilling in order to produce a final usable uh, part. Uh, on the, in contrast, on the other hand, um, additive manufacturing, uh, or AM, um, or 3D printing, is based on additive processes where layer by layer waste-free process allowing the generation of complex geometry directly uh, from digital models. Nevertheless, um, added manufacturing has been limited to small-scale prototype and has not yet fully implemented in large-scale uh, building construction practices. Uh, our published uh, research and preliminary data indicates that uh, polymer-based uh, added manufacturing application in large-scale uh, building construction is possible and can offer innovative alternatives to conventional construction techniques. Uh, added manufacturing could uh, provide quicker, safer, and more uh, sustainable options. Our added manufacturing integrated energy uh, research project, or EV, uh, was a 3D printed full scale high performance building enclosure prototype. Uh, the structure was uh, printed using the big area added manufacturing or the BAM technology. This is a short uh, 15 second time lapse of a full 15 hours of full scale uh, 3D printing of one of our enclosure. Uh, panels. The print took place at the Manufacturing Demonstration Facility, uh, or MDF, at uh, Oak Ridge National Lab, uh, or NL. The 3D printed panels were then finished uh, by tool design and assembled in Clayton Home facilities in, here in Knoxville. Uh, the, this is an image of the assembled 3D printed wall panels with integrated windows, uh, conduits, electrical and plumbing uh, system. The final prototype um, was uh, designed to be paired with a 3D printed hybrid car where the car can provide power uh, to the enclosure and the enclosure can charge the car uh, uh, through a photovoltaic uh, panels, flexible photovoltaic panels that was uh, set on the roof. Uh, added manufacturing when paired with uh, topology optimization it can open uh, new ways of possibilities of uh, creating high performance as uh, construction systems. Uh, topology optimization is a computational form finding method 
for determining the best uh, possible forms based on the optimal material distribution within a discretized design space with a set of boundary conditions. Topology optimization uh, has transformed major engineering industries, including automotive, aerospace, uh, resulting in 20 to 40 percent weight saving uh, in the parts. On the other hand, traditional construction practices have seen little uh, of the technological revolution that has transformed uh, these fields. Uh, these uh, performance goals and criteria follow similar biomimetic principles found in nature for animals, birds, and plants, where optimal strength uh, to weight ratio are used to ensure the efficient use uh, of the resources. On the left is an interior scan of a starling skull whose uh, bone structure is uh, optimized uh, to provide support and strength while minimizing the weight. On the right image is a detailed photograph of the interior of a topologically optimized uh, 3D printed model from our uh, work. In order to implement these solutions uh, for this research, uh, we developed a computation design form finding workflow with the objective of designing a load-bearing structure framing for a house prototype in the new house. The design uh, procedure was broken down in four steps, which are described in this diagram. Step number one with the first initial 2D topology optimization uh, using stiffness-based uh, bi-direction evolutionary structure optimization, uh, so BDSO. And then uh, we also tested 3D uh, topology optimization using generative design. And then we did run a finite element analysis uh, to evaluate the design and performance of the generative part of the, the design part. Uh, finally, we ran a post-processing of the mesh model uh, for G-code generation uh, for robotically controlled 3D printing. The 2D uh, topology optimization uh, provides an efficient method for understanding uh, topologically optimized outcome of a given discretized uh, volume in relation, in relation to specifically defined force load and support combination. Uh, the 2D topology optimization outcome uh, depends on the choice of load and support location as well as the void and obstacle boundaries. Since these 2D studies can be uh, generated rather quickly uh, with relative low computational power, as opposed to 3D optimization, and that allowed us, uh, for especially for the research team, to have high degree of iteration uh, in the design process. The speed of iteration of the steps helped uh, the research team to rapidly make changes at the design space for various loads, boundaries, conditions, and constraints. Uh, to illustrate this aspect, we investigated the influence of varying load scenarios on each surface of the house model with the goal of maximizing stiffness while reducing the weight uh, through optimal uh, material distribution. And the basic volume of the structure was created, then it was broken down into individual surfaces, uh, facade, roof sections, were uh, defined uh, as discretized boundary boundaries for optimization on va under various load cases um, and were tested and based on each surface location within the structure. The 12 optimization iteration steps were then repeated to refine the outcome until the design criteria have been satisfied. So, um, the, this is the assembled topology that not optimized a planar surface of the U house model compared to a traditional uh, framing of the house uh, model on the left side. Several workflows were investigated to interpret the 2D topology optimization result to a 3D model. The goal was to develop a panel that's about uh, a meter and a quarter by three meter uh, wall panel sample extracted from the overall uh, house framing. Uh, the procedure was started by creating a low polygon mesh uh, of the resulted stiffness um, um, model. Uh, the workflow uh, allowed for a geometrically continuous construction of a nerve surface of pretty much any complex uh, topology. This method is suitable for initial testing of topology optimization result and require minimal uh, editing and produce a mesh with sufficient fidelity for direct 3D printing. Um, additional finite element analysis uh, of the topology optimized model was performed to validate the performance and evaluate the initial design criteria. We found that during this test that uh, the topology optimized wall panel was resulted in 34% material reduction uh, with higher stiffness value compared to a standard wood framing uh, of a wall panel of the same size. 
For the full skin uh, internal framing, we wanted to test out a uh, better material rather than the um, reinforced carbon fiber that we used for the Amy project. For this one, we, we plan to use a biodegradable uh, carbon fiber, uh, uh, bamboo fibers and wood fiber reinforced PLA pellet, uh, which also developed by RNL. For the second phase of the research, we looked into 3D topology optimization, which is generated uh, based on path between fixed constraints and applied load on a volume boundary instead of a planar surface, including uh, reserved regions, uh, obstacles, uh, geometry, and 3D space. The process of topology optimization minimized the compliance of the uh, elastic structure subject to the constraints on the available material while maximizing stiffness. Design field then it started to be resolved by multi-resolution finite element mesh volumes and the design update is performed using a gradient-based uh, criterion. In the iteration above, we achieve about 43% material reduction compared to the standard wood framing of the same uh, model. Uh, one of the significant advantages of this workflow is that the final model requires virtually uh, no post-processing and ready for slicing and GPO generation for 3D printing directly. Uh, it is remarkable to see that how the optimized uh, model resembles the organic form and the natural bone structure of the Starlink skull uh, shown earlier. Uh, this is not a coincidence, uh, as Wall's law states that the animal bone varies in densities based on the loads applied to it, uh, and the computation form finding morphologies of topology optimization follow the same principle uh, that drives the weight reduction of the burst skeleton in, in structure. Both structures need to be stiff towards applied forces uh, and their surface pressure to resist longitudinal bending, uh, therefore uh, resulting in similar distribution of internal structure elements. These are some of the images of the uh, model prototype. Uh, to conclude, uh, that we, uh, with two successful works below described, this work can conclude that um, 3D printing can sufficiently produce high fidelity architectural components of geometrical complexity directly through uh, topology optimization. Additionally, this shows that the new direction of the use of topology optimization and generative design workflow to accurate interpretive uh, topology optimization result can be achieved. Uh, 3D printing technology combined with customized digital workflow uh, for design, development, production has been successfully used and efficiently build a uh, topology optimized model. The application of the uh, active, robotically controlled uh, additive manufacturing uh, for four scale building uh, the entire house, further research must be addressed the following challenges. First, um, uh, we should look into uh, component, we plan to look at component based design. So the framing structure would need to be divided, assembled from multiple uh, prefabricated panels, uh, taking into consideration the location of each panel within the defined boundary condition. Um, with different load cases. Additionally, the connection between each uh, of the panel uh, will also play a significant role in ensuring the integrity of the overall structure performance. Uh, structure performance is not the only criteria, uh, so we should think about integrity systems. So this work highlights the significant potential of 3 printing to fabricate large-scale parts, but nonetheless, um, we should harness the full potential of added manufacturing um, with other integrative design approaches should be considered to incorporate other systems such as mechanical, electrical, uh, and plumbing within the printed part. Um, uh, we consider this research as the first step toward a novel, fully integrated approach to construction driven by material economy and have the potential to transform uh, the current uh, construction practices. Um, I would like uh, to take a moment to thank uh, uh, graduate research assistant Shane Pritchby for his work on this project, and the University of Tennessee Office of Research, and the College of Architecture and Design for the support uh, for our work. I also would like to thank uh, Autodesk uh, and Autodesk Residency for providing access to Fusion 3D 360 uh, and the cloud computing uh, service for finite element analysis. Um, and uh, I also would like to thank the advances in architecture geometry conference organizing committee for giving me uh, this opportunity. Uh, thank you and I'm looking forward to uh, meeting you soon.